my goodness. Hello, everybody. This guy's singing about the stream. I'm thugging it. What's up? Play Mario Kart and he shows Cheese Land. I don't even know if I've ever even fucking played that stage. Like, I assume that's Mario Kart 8. I have not played through like all the DLC shit for that. Electro Dome is more fun, maybe. I'm I'm like I'm lacking on the Mario Kart 8. Neo Bowser City, honestly, I hated that shit at first, but that, that really grew on me. This is a song about my life. No, wait. This is a song about Jeff's life. There we go. <laughs> I like that one better. <laughs> yeah, that. This sounds like stuff that Jeff says pretty much daily. <laughs> yep, that's a Jeff song. What's going down, everybody? Isn't it fucking crazy? It's been two years and there's no update, but you still just tune in and see me just drawing shit all the time. Isn't that weird how that happens? That must feel so fucking weird from the outside looking at it that I can't help but acknowledge that. <laughs> I'm just like, wow, he's still going. He's still drawing more shit. What the fuck are they doing that he's still just drawing more shit? to be like three yeah I guess well we won't stick around for forever the person said it's crazy and one day it'll be over that's true that's a scary thought it's like it's more scary most of the time thinking that it'll never end but like it is also scary to think that one day yeah, it'll just be done The song played the first time Tom Fulp and Jeff's hands ever touched. hours of edge <laughs> how is the music to voice ratio that Bob watching stream are you actually Japanese you just put a ton of the Japanese text in your name my favorite FNF song I think I've answered this before. It's still, I think it's still, it's like some pie and tutorial. I both love equally as much, <laughs> and their erect mixes are uh, equally as good, honestly. 
without spoilers, what or who is week eight gonna be about? I don't know if there really is a way to say that without spoilers, so I'm just not gonna say anything. I will never stop being jealous of people who make manga who just get to, more so are forced to just pump out story shit weekly. sketch that much. Dude, we're just back to back Jeff songs. Do I play FNF mods? Uh, no, I don't. They look pretty good though. I've seen a lot of really cool ones. This stream isn't gonna go on forever. We're gonna do some little, some drawings together. Some drawings that probably will get more speculation than they truly warrant. Jeff is way too into it. Oh, this one's awesome. That last one about like a nymphomaniac feels like slightly morbid, but these ones that like have nothing to do with anything are great. This is DDR third mix. Goodness, for anybody who's read the blog, I haven't even been writing much of those lately. I don't even want to talk about what I'm working on. That was that was fun back when. Uh, <laughs> that, that would be funner if stuff was coming out more consistently. But I think the rest of the Funkin' team enjoys it very much, so I'm very happy for all of them. You probably won't see as many posts from me. I'll probably upload it at, at some point. Probably not until I feel like I deserve it though. Man, why was my message not posted due to conflicts? All I did was say you were good at singing? I don't know. <laughs> I want him to look just a more like a little bit more devious and cunning. Now I feel like the anatomy's getting all crazy. Did I mess that up? Was it just better where it was before? Yeah, it kinda was better where it was before. Oh, but then you can't see as much of it. Damn it. Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe it does matter. Maybe that's a good compromise. There's gonna be a lot of this, just me sketching and chilling. He looks evil instead of devious. Good. This one's too, like, 
cute. I mean, I want him to be cute, but... It's gotta be like a balance. Mr. Dozen is here. Hello, Mr. Dozen. The Scott Pilgrim anime does look good. Looks fucking crazy good. How's life been? It's been pretty chill. It's been relaxing, I'd say. I'll turn the music down for me. Still up for the stream, though. You want to buy a bootleg BF plush, drown in milk, and slam against the wall with a wet thud? Just like that one random ass person on Tumblr. Lately things have been chill. It was fun visiting Canada. Me and Cam got a lot of stuff done. And it's just very relaxing being in Canada. I don't know how many of you guys are from there, but damn. I mean, I guess Toronto specifically just has like, the city's chill, the streetcar's fun to ride. This shit's awesome. Is boyfriend considered an, att an attractive sculpted Adonis in this universe? Or is he an overzealous dunderhead who pulled a girl? He definitely the second one. He's just a guy. He's just a freaking guy. Dave over at UPS store and accidentally sent someone's package to Somalia. The Somalians are opening up the Good Smile pop-up parade Igus from Persona 3 and learning what true love is immediately. You know, I think I just like this pose. See the parts of this I don't like. Is Corey going to appear in the game? Man, I hope so at one point. That would be so awesome. There is like a whole like original story to tell, but like of course as many Newgrounds references or even just cameos as possible. That's, that's what I want. How long do I plan on streaming right now? Probably for like an hour or two. That's what I'll go for. Maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 
You need the streamer himself telling me to brush. What, like your teeth? You need a fucking dude across the internet's computer screen to tell you to brush your fucking dirty, stinky teeth? Sounds like somebody needs a mom with a stronger right hook, man. <laughs> Glizzy Goblin Goo with Goblin spelled wrong. Have ever drawn a boyfriend of this cat? I mean, yeah, definitely a couple times just for myself. blind I don't know I mean you're typing in my chat I don't, I don't think you're blind I don't know if I mentioned this a few streams ago but man I've been playing DDR that shit's so awesome I've been taking Cory to that that shit's crazy awesome the closest DDR in Canada was like fucking half hour away. That shit was ass, dog. DDR makes me enlist into the Navy. DDR is all just propaganda, US propaganda. <laughs> Seven C's. Can you put your mind at ease in the Navy? Am I a playable character? You definitely not. Are we playing Persona 5 because Persona 3 Reload is making you so hard you can't breathe? Man, I, I, being a downer is the last thing I ever want to do, but fuck, man. I, I love Persona 3 so much. And, like, I know that, like, the original director's not working on it because he's making, like, a new original game. That's like, fuck. Fuck. I mean, it looks. Persona 3 Reload looks awesome, but it's like, damn it. 
already there's something I really liked about the original and like how weird the characters looked in 3D and all this shit. Like, we're at this weird point now because like they all used to have illustrations because like the 3D models like looked weird. So the 3D models tell you where they are like in 3D space and then the portraits tell you like what they're looking like for real. So you look at the 3D to see what's going on and look at the portraits to see their actual expressions. But now we're at this weird point where like, people have even just been shitting on the P5 models and talking about how pretty the P3 ones are. So it's like, oh man, now we just have the portraits just cause, cause like the models like are as good as the portraits now. So small changes like that, small changes like the Persona 3 Pro tag is like kind of stubby and like, a little awkward looking in the original game, even though he's like cool, he feels like a, a young man trying to make friends and understand his place in the world. Dude, in, in, in Reload, he just is, he's like fucking dapper, he is like suave as fuck. So then it's like, I always kind of like the idea of like new kid in town that people don't like at first, but as you get more charming and cool, you like grow on people and you know all that shit, human relations. But like, dude, and like fucking Remo, like in Reload, he just looks fucking. He looks fucking drip the fuck out. It's like you, you were just, you just start off cool as fuck. how I feel playing Persona. Playing Persona is like when searching for samurai and being a little butterfly. Oh, I'm not animating right now. I'm just like drafting designs giving nice new trace content body proportions to give a character it's all like feeling it's like why people are just like are they kids but it's like no I just feel like I'm... it's like in Dark Souls when you have like enemies that are fucking gigantic and your knight is like small compared to everybody cuz like it's all about like the feeling of like feeling like you're outnumbered or outmatched or like I feel like when you're younger, you don't know a lot about the world, or like the world is kind of against you a little bit. Because uh, it's hard to figure out what you want to do for like a career, or... I don't know, just do all sorts of stuff when you're younger. Not that it really gets any easier when you're older, but... I feel like you get more stable footing once you're older, which you definitely don't have when you're like a kid. Well, you know, not a kid, but... <laughs> it's like, you know... 19, 20, 21. I mean, honestly, even up to like later 20s, I feel like it's still like all like pretty tough. Uh, so it's like, yeah, like that kind of angle of like, what does this character like represent or whatever? Is this character like the underdog? It's like, I feel like if you're if you're designing a character that's an underdog, that's like bigger than the other characters. Is it really gonna feel like he's the fucking underdog if he like shadows fucking over everyone else? I mean, maybe. Maybe that could even be like a fun, like fucking switch up that people don't expect. But like, in general, I think, you know, granted he was just like a kid, but I feel like in Dragon Ball it was always like, it was like funny that Goku was that strong for being like that small. Shit like that.
or in the Souls games, your enemies are bigger than you because they're scarier than you because they take eight hours to beat. See, even though, like, Boyfriend is, like, uh, older than Senpai, because Senpai is, like, more evil, he's, like, taller than them. He has more mature qualities, but in a worse way than them. There's something the enemies don't have bigger than me. <laughs> that senpai was a teacher? I feel like, even though that's definitely not what I intended, uh, I can, I can see it. I mean, it kind of doesn't even really change the point of, like, who he is. Like, he's like this character that's perceived to be handsome, who turns out to be an asshole, who then turns out that there's a real person trapped inside of the fictional person. So, like, I feel like if you think, if you thought he was a teacher, that doesn't really mess up playing the level. Even though you're wrong and you're a fucking idiot and you're banned from playing Friday Funkin' forever. Would BF or Pico win in a fist fight? Damn. If this is some sleepy cat shit saying this, but it depends on the motivation. It depends on the motivation. is they both reach for the the last dang Snickers bar. <laughs> Followed up by comment, I find it so awesome seeing black men all up and twerking. Well, it's pretty awesome, man. It just goes to show we're reaching an all-inclusive world where everybody can just want what they want. <laughs> uh, boyfriend and Pico both reach for the last piece of candy and it sparks off a bloody brawl. <clears throat> it would end of both of them teethless and on the ground covered in blood. And who, it, really then it's just a matter of whoever wakes up from being blacked out first and how many teeth they have left to even chew the bar with. That's the real fucking battle. The BF Nendo looks nice, thanks for not going with a pop figure. No problem. Zub, Zuby Zub said, Dave, I love you. I don't even know what to say to that. Never considered it before. Love and loving someone else. It's a foreign concept to me. All I love is Adobe Flash. And looks up a huge mural on the wall. It Goku. <laughs> Will there be a girlfriend figure in the future? Oh, oh, oh. You guys ask the questions that pain me so, whoa, whoa. Dave, can you draw that one werewolf image? We're just gonna take a guess of what this guy wants. Goodness. 
I'm just rolling this as fast as humanly possible so we can get back to work. This is, I think this is the drawing that he's talking about though. The freaking werewolf tearing his like, shit off. <laughs> oh my goodness, the anatomy is terrible. That's the image I'm thinking of. That one is awesome though. Yeah, see I'm already liking this a lot better than the original. The original, I like the original drawing, it is good. But I feel like this one is like better. There's still some things to even out about it though. It's a little rough in some regards. I really like sketching on stream. Drawing, but like not thinking too hard about it and just kind of zoning out and reading messages is fun. a bowl sucked out of him and turns into a werewolf. I think one thing that's really hard is drawing the characters in like really 3D ways. So I've been trying to do that more and more lately. Because I feel like that's that's where all artists of anything ever usually skimp out. It's like hands. People often don't want to draw hands that often because it's hard. But if you can, you can make some pretty cool looking drawings. Drawing the Funkin' characters in 3D, since they're such flat designs, I think feels really satisfying. Like, even though I just am really not a Butch Hartman fan, and I, there's some choice words about that guy that I'm not going to share, Cause you know what? He worked hard and made a cartoon that's pretty good. Danny Phantom. Uh, and you know, the one thing, and it's not even Butch Hartman's fault, maybe, I don't know, but like, they don't draw the characters in like 3D enough. Like, the first episode they like make the characters pretty 3D, but later on, you can get some hilarious screen grabs out of that show, cause they go like almost out of their fucking way to like, animate that shit as though it's like with symbols and in a way like symbols are good because you use them when you're not changing the poses that much but like if you're using the same symbols for a really extreme pose like people have seen me for like certain stuff like redraw boyfriend like entirely for things like for the thing where he's catching girlfriend or whatever and Danny Phantom there's times where like he will bend all the way down with his arms behind his back and like to where his like head is down like it just, just, I can't even f fucking, episodes where they cut corners piss me off. But the ones where they're really 3D, and you can see that they actually drew, like, Danny's head from, like, a different angle and stuff. That's, like, so satisfying. Because seeing a really flat design drawn from a different angle, that feels 3D, but then it from another angle is also a really readable flat drawing. Ugh, come worthy. It feels so good. That's why, like, Panty and Stocking is so fucking satisfying, because they really spared nothing drawing those guys really fluidly from, like, all angles. But then, like, the style stays mostly consistent, so it looks super cool. Yeah, see, front-facing boyfriend, right? It's like, you know it's gonna look a little goofy like The Simpsons, but, like, you gotta do it. Probably mostly as like in-betweens. Honestly, I don't even know what for, but I've had to design front-facing boyfriend like on numerous occasions and for various things. I mean like also partially to like help with like the Nendo design. Cause like, you know, we were thinking about what the toy would look like from the front. Um, and it's like, yeah, even for stuff that won't be in the game, it is like this like challenge to think about.
And you gotta come up, like, for areas where, like, things don't look good when turned to a certain angle, you gotta come up with, like, rules for, like, how to permanently hide it. I mean, like, one thing in general is, like, you know, boyfriend in the game, his hair just, like, flips to whatever way he's facing. But, like, you know, in 3D, you gotta think a little bit about, like, you know, the hair can't flip what way he's facing. So then it's like, well, how do you do that? And, like, I think the Nendo, like, design handles that really well. What do you think Game Tunes Friday Night Funkin' series? Is that a thing? What is that? I think I just heard about Game Tunes earlier. Aren't they the dudes who are getting their channel shut down by like Skibbity Toilet Guy? That's pretty unfortunate. Never heard of them before that. That really sucks. That guy's weird voice crack at the end of that, it's awesome. They made some pretty decent FNF stuff, well, that's cool. It always feels weird to hear that about like YouTube channels that are essentially animation studios. That sounds like what they are. Cause just like talk about like his animators and all that. He's like, we need to resume production on, on other content. It's like, whoa, that's not just a YouTube channel. That is an animation studio. Skibbity guy is also racist. It's unfortunate. The FNF doves are smelly. You're fucking right. If you think me and Isaac are fucking showering every minute of every day instead of up fucking drawing and making music, you're wrong. I'm so perplexed because being with Cam for all this time, I've noticed some of his personal habits, and it's funny because we'll go out in public and I'm disgusted because. He will literally be at the bus stop or something, and he'll be like, oh, well, if we're gonna go to this stop, we have to go to this stop, and he'll put his finger actually on the bus sign and smudge it down on the grime. I'm, I'm not even, this isn't even a joke. And then he'll be like, hmm, and thinking, and like put his finger like on his lips and in his mouth, and it makes me want to like scream. But then like when we're home, he will shower like once or twice a day. So he's always just like beautifully fucking squeaky clean kind of but then like he'll ride the fucking bus and like grab like the pole on the bus to like stand up and shit and then go home and touch his mouse so when i play counter strike on his computer i touch his mouse and like feel the fucking grime on it i'm like this is how is this guy showering like twice a day and doing all this i'm like what the i'm a, i'm a germaphobe though so but then i'm 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 blamable in the equal way where i'll wash my hands like so much that it's some like in past TikTok videos, you'd see that I was wearing, like, a crazy amount of bandages because, like, the fucking skin was coming off my hands from washing it too much. That was because of COVID, though. I don't do that shit anymore. But, like, I still wash my hands, like, a lot. And, like, I'm definitely not showering, goddamn, as much as Cam. I'll tell you that much right now. I'll shower if I'm meeting people or going somewhere. I think that's that's it. And if I'm not doing that, if I'm just like sitting down to just like draw, then like, I don't know, man. I've got like crazy luck where I feel like you just fucking, my hair doesn't get like super greasy and 
Also, I feel like I never really smell that bad, but I just wear deodorant every day anyway, because that's just like normal. I feel like if I go to the gym or if I go play DDR, that's like an immediate shower. You, there's no there's no going to the gym and not showering. I'll say that much. That is that is immediate shower. Any physical activity is immediate shower. Is there a shower in the Newgrounds office? Yes, there is. I've used it many times. The water in the shower at the Newgrounds office gets like insanely fucking hot. It feels so good. Washing hair too much is bad, is that real? Night Cray, hope you have a bad night. What is Cray in the chat? Oh yeah, there he is. Oh hey, what's up Cray? Cray is one of the few modern online animators whose cartoons make me actually laugh. It's funny that Cray also does like thirst trap art on Twitter too. That shit is funny as fuck. Boil yourself alive, damn. <laughs> Who are you saying that to? What the? Waffle stomps. The new guy's off? I don't even know what that means. Does Jeff have bad habits? I don't think so. Well, I mean, bad habits is like pretty extreme. I don't think he has any bad habits. Uh, I th like, I'm trying to think of anything he does that like other people might not do. It's like not good for your health because Jeff is like a pretty healthy guy. I mean, he stays up at all like sorts of. He's like, he fucking sleeps weird, so he does that. His like sleep schedule is. I mean, it's better than mine for sure. Just it's just odd. And I guess like he drinks. So maybe maybe I beat him in that I have a better liver than him. I smoked a lot more cigarettes than he has. He smoked about zero, so <laughs> he'll always have that one. Cold sour is nice, damn. It's a big fat no for me, dog. Dude, it's weird listening to like a bunch of music from like 90s games because like I don't know about this song But I've heard like all the samples you that like all games use Like every single thing in Jet Set Radio music is just used in like other songs because it's just from like a sample disc Like you'll hear sh shit from like uh Like Jet Set inside of like Tekken games This is DDR You live in freezing Britain, you take cold showers, and you're fucked, man. The life's fucked, you're fucked. Give up. <laughs> oh man, drawing the shoes from the singles is fucking tough. Have I tried Bomber Cyberfunk yet? No, I haven't. I like got back from Canada and I've I'm trying to work as much as possible and still try to know life. Armored Core. It's where anytime I have the chance I try and just play it for as long as I can, which is fucking my sleep schedule pretty bad. 
but uh, damn, armored core is fucking fun. I need to play. I need to play bomb rush though. Well, I wanted to play Jet Set Future before bomb rush because I'd never played Jet Set Future, and I feel like if I immediately play bomb rush, Jet Set Future won't be fun anymore. I did a replay of Jet Set recently on Vita, and man, it feels pretty good on Vita. I originally played the Dreamcast version, but the Vita port's pretty good. And Jet Set holds up, man. Not that anybody needs me to tell them, but fuck. Jet Set, like, just the gameplay, not just the music. That shit, like, is still just awesome. It still feels, like, almost as magical as the first time I played it. Also, Ami tip $3, or Omi, said, Hello, Phantom Arcade. I just want to ask, is one the FNF, wait, I just want to ask, is one the FNF good at the dance floor, Omi? Look, if any of them can actually dance. Let's see, a boyfriend. Boyfriend can groove, but he can't dance. He can't, like, he can't actually dance for shit. Boyfriend can fucking groove. He'll just, he'll just start busting out goddamn Roblox emotes for dances. He'll hit you with all the Fortnite shit, you already know. Girlfriend can actually dance. Girlfriend can actually, like, samba and all that. And I'd say that Pico probably just knows, like, I feel like calling it street dancing is a little strange, but, like, a bit more than grooving. Pico, I think, knows moves that they might not be official dancing, but they're just impressive. You put, you give Pico a fucking piece of cardboard to lay on the street, and he'll show you some shit. I don't know if you can call it dancing, but he'll show you some shit. It won't match the music, but he'll just start going crazy. The leopard snarl at the end of the song. Essential. The song Paranoia is in like every fucking DDR game ever. And it's cool, but it's like, shit man, it's really that fucking cool. So this song got like a million remixes. Is this shoe leaning down just the right way to do it? Because now his shoe looks like it's two facing the viewer and it's not got like, not got like anything to really lean on. A Wario version of BF. Well, if you're able to think of what that is, you guys will officially have fucking thought of it all. Except for all the stuff that I've thought of for <laughs> Let's just go for the original fucking design. Max it needs to be out more. But maybe not this out. This song's fucking awesome. Hello, Mr. Band Buds. Animate send tip three dollars and said, "Will you ever consider opening Doodle Coms in the future?" Hey, maybe. It'd be fun to do just a stream that's like Doodle requests. A 
I kind of just want to get work done any chance I can, though, so it's always more tempting to stream work if there's something I'm, like, comfortable putting out. the original shoe just tilted oh my lord mention this I fucking got like a there's this thing called the e amusement pass for DDR it's like six bucks it's like super cheap it's so cool you can get this like little card that like when you go to the arcade you can like sign into the arcade and then like it saves your scores and shit online and like you can even like play enough songs to where like you get like three songs a session but you can get like a fourth song and like damn it's so cool having it fucking like save all your shit on there. Damn, but I get up again. The E amusement pass makes me feel like a fucking DDR maniac. I think Bomber Cyberfunk looks sick as fuck. I can't wait to play it. But I'm trying to finish Armored Core, and that game is sick as fuck. I don't fucking understand why for Armored Core they made this whole fucking video that I feel like should be the start screen video, like Demon Souls, but they only released it as a story trailer that's on YouTube. But that's where you find out that you're just like a fucking weird, like, barely breathing, like, essentially like a corpse in a bed that just gets put into the fucking robot. It's like, that context would have been fucking nice. To know, like, in the actual game. I've still seen people make, like, jokes about, like, the fucking weird-ass corpse guy in the bed. So, like... I guess people have seen it, but still. It's like, why? Why is it only on YouTube? This song is so fucking good. There's this thing I think about now, too, where I'm listening to this guy, and he says in the song, he says, Wogwum! But I heard that people say that in Canada, it's like Jamaican slang or something. But it must be, like, pretty old, since it's in this song from the 90s. But then, like... I guess, like, Wong Wong or whatever is, like, the slang, but then there's Wong Wong Games. So, it's like, is Ding Dong Jamaican? Is that just a total coincidence? Is it supposed to be one one like I know it's the dog barking in their art, but it's like is it meant is like based off like the Asian or not Asian the Jamaican phrase? Wagwan is another way to say hello. Yes, I'm saying so. It's like, is Wan Wan is that based off like the Jamaican thing? Maybe not. Maybe I'm reading too far into it. 
That's just like, I don't know why, that's just like when I hear like Wagwan, I just immediately think of like Wagwan. <laughs> they're making like Bippy. And they're also making rhythm games, so that's exciting. I hope that that's good. Oh man, and Cory lately has been in a Project Diva. Oh man. That dude is like making my life. He's just talking to me about Miku every day. It's like, don't get me wrong. I love hearing about Sonic. Anything Cory has to say to me, it brings me sheer joy, but. Him just telling me stuff about like Miku and bringing up songs to me, it's like, bro, you come to the right fucking man. I platinumed fucking F second recently, so this shit is fresh in my brain. Let's see, okay, so let's scroll through here. Uh, SB Torms, Spatorms, tipped one dollar and said, would any of the F and F cast eat drywall? Depends, depends how much you pay them. Depends if you could pay them or trick them. It's probably not that hard. It's more likely than you think. I doubt any of them would do it just for no reason. Except, me, you know what, maybe Monster. I feel like I could imagine a picture of Monster that's like that fucking old man standing looking like a fucking idiot with his fucking mouth full of paint. It feels like right. Alright, so this photo, now it looks like he's fucking reaching in his pants to jerk off now that I try to tuck his other hand in. There's just like not enough space in the art to do it right. It's like he's secretly jerking off. This shit's funny. Can't do that though. Well, I mean, I could do it, but that's- I don't want people to think he's jerking off. <laughs> Bambud says, does the drywall have come on it? I think that matters, and it definitely does. Can't sleep, so I'm back. What's up, Cray? Cray, look, it's boyfriend reaching in his pants to secretly jerk off. Even after the fucking teacher told him to stop, but he's smiling because he doesn't give a shit. Does BF know about the Texas Tuck? Nope, he totally doesn't. He's been doing it wrong for so long. That's why his pockets stick out to the side so far and weird. He gives that light skin stare. Absolutely. Dozen's going to sleep. Good night, Mr. Dozen. Okay. So I'm going to put his hand back to what the other hand was. I like that other hand. It's pretty good. It makes this song sound unique, but I, it sounds like they told this guy to like just start rapping, and he's like, "What's the song?" And this song, I hate the fucking intro. It sounds so fucking creepy. But this song, like, it's almost like they like were fucking with him, and they're just like, "Dude, just start rapping, go." They're like, "We'll just we'll just use it. We'll just cut up and use it." They're like, "Don't worry about it." <laughs> that jump up, jump up and get down is literally from DDR. Uh, fucking no, it's literally from Jet Set. The jump up, jump up and get down is from Jet Set. Jet Set Radio. KH Insider. What song has that? On the baseline. I think it's this one or no this is it this is it the music just turns me on Good night, Muteliac, or however the fuck you say that. But that was too 
too soft. I'm going to listen. He's going to say it. I know this is the one. We're going to listen to this. We're going to see if it's the same sample. Oh, that sounds like the same exact voice. Oh, my God. We'll double check, though. Letting myself is this the one? I feel like it is. Jump up, jump up, get down. Fucking voice with the segments cut out is so sick sounding. Oh my god. Can't wait for Bomb Rush now that I'm listening to this. There's no playlist me and my friends have bumped more times than this one. Okay, here we go. I think this is where it's gonna come in. The cells are holding in my piss waiting for this. Just fucking play it already. Oh, fucking damn it. The voice is pitched up. I think it's the same one. Ding ding bong rock so well. Is it here that he- now I'm gonna find it in this one. Jump up, jump up, and get down. It's the it's the same sample. That's that is it. That is actually it. Yeah, that is the same sample. So there you go. DDR third mix and fucking hit it like Hideki Naganuma had the same fucking sample. So you probably fucking all of them did. Cause I've heard all this shit in a million fucking songs. Fuck though. It's good good reason to listen to the exact music. Like, all this music's awesome. It, it's funny because this isn't, isn't even one random guy recording this. I can hear it now. This is just a ton of fucking samples played back to back. I don't think this guy ever intended for all of these random sentences to be strung together, but it kind of does feel uplifting and cool. <laughs> I hate that. I hate that so bad. Mommy.
and it made Sen to three dollars and said, "Did you see the new Gear Five episodes of One Piece lately? And can you draw a Gear Five boyfriend? Gear Five boyfriend would be fun to draw." I have seen against my will new clips because I'm trying to not spoil that shit for myself. But when I see those shits on my timeline, it's hard to ignore them. They're like the most beautiful works of animation I've ever seen in my life. I'm not that far in One Piece. As a kid, I got to like Alabasta and stopped, and I need to fucking get back past that. Alabasta filtered my young 12 year old self. I know I've said this a billion times, but I can't wait till this fucking update's done, man. That's gonna be such a good day. A good one singular day. sketch Yeah, I said that I would like it to be out this year. Well, I mean, I did kind of say that if it doesn't come out this year, I'll jump off a bridge. And that's also true. Still doesn't mean it's coming. Definitely doesn't mean for sure. But it means that I'm using every fiber of my soul to get it to that point.
<laughs> this is hard to draw with like really limited anatomy. <laughs> this is half the challenge of fucking figuring out this like whole game and all this stuff is like just figuring out like how to just do stuff and fighting against that. Tons of time just trying to figure them out from all angles. Does BF no math? Barely. Just, just fucking barely. Boyfriend understands how to count up to 999 and doesn't understand past that because he's never had more than fucking three digit fucking shit in his bank account. around belly is a tough one. What is up with One Piece fans going on like Twitter every day and saying their series is like the most iconic thing in the world? I don't know if that's just like the Twitter algorithm feeding me that, but I see way too many posts of them just like fighting people being like, Luffy is now more iconic than the Kamehameha wave, and it's like, why do you need that? Why does that have to be true? I don't know if that's just like trolling for clout or whatever. I see that like a lot though. Same thing with Naruto. There's just a lot of people posting about like how iconic Naruto is. Which it's like, what does it fucking matter? It's like, yeah, it's cool. They're all cool. But it's like a lot of this shit is just niche. It's insane that Dragon Ball is as popular as it is. Like few things will be as like iconic as like Dragon Ball or like Pokemon. Like, things that often start and kick off, like, a niche, or, like, help bring it to the mainstream, like, few things ever beat that. Like, not that many games have sold as well as, like, the original Super Mario Bros. on fucking, like, NES. This is tough. This, this whole pose is fucking stupid hard. This is this is a fucking challenge, man. I don't know why I decided to sit down and do this with my time. This is why we normally don't do doodle comms, everyone. For the question that was asked earlier. Oh, 
let's try this one again. Even Luffy in this, like, original pose is just, like, fucking... He has arm is, like, bent all fucking crazy, because, like... He's in, like, his, like, fucking tune thing. Actually, I guess it's only the show doing that. I guess the original drawing does have, like, pretty decent, like, anatomy for that. This looks so ridiculous. See, this this drawing right here, I hope this explains it. When I draw a character from a new pose, it's just a, this, it's this constant battle to like keep drawing it until you find out like how to do it in a way that like works with the anatomy. And if you have to like change the fucking anatomy or whatever. Like I have this finger like wrapped around his head to make it more 3D, but this will probably look better honestly like with it with like less like logic behind it probably chunkier fingers too but then that makes it pretty different from the original drawing This hand, this hand will look better if it looks like less anatomical, which I was doing that earlier, at the risk of the pose being a bit less readable. rough as fuck. But the attempt was made. the fucking like little things that wrap around him work just kind of has these like wisps around him
That's the best I can come up with for Gear 5 Boyfriend. <laughs> this is rough as fuck, man. It's the best I got. That is... I'll say this, arguing if it's more iconic than something I feel like is fucked, because it's a constant like battle of comparison and that's just like a dangerous game always. But I, I would say this like little panel is like iconic now. I think it's not more iconic than like anything from like Dragon Ball Z, or you know, not like the the iconic things from Dragon Ball Z, but like this panel in of itself, I think like it's like a great pose, it like represents like the beginning of like the just genuine end of One Piece and like it's just whimsical and good. Okay, now one thing that's like kind of busted about this that's changed the game slightly over time is that like... The heads are starting to get slightly more proportionate, which I have to like fight against myself for that. So we gotta make this head a bit larger to get to like the real proportions of the game. Like that, that already is like so much better. It's tempting, it's tempting to go for like the realer anatomy. I feel like I've seen some people do that. Like I've already noticed that like some of the artists who are like starting to like kind of just grow as artists overall are like, they have more fun with like the realer anatomy. And that is cool. But I think finding out how to keep it like chunky and flat while also getting better at art. That's like the challenge I want to keep going down. So it's pretty neat. Now animate him with a million frames. Yeah, tempting. <laughs> yeah, those Gear 5 episodes are fucking crazy. But it is also crazy to see Dozen and Rachi kind of grow this like awesome crazy art style where the characters are just like larger and longer. And... Yeah. Yeah. Big head mode in F and F. There's so many th fun things that like 3D games can do that like you really just can't do in 2D games. Though I guess I was watching a, like a compilation of like fucking all goddamn Mortal Kombat fatalities, and I guess even in the classic games they would do heads getting like inflated and blown up. Look, Tapa, it's Gear 5 Boyfriend. He's reached his final form. Yeah, see, now when you look at this small one, it just looks like wrong. It looks like his head got shrank. Because you see this one, you're like, yeah, that's more like it. And then you see this one, you're like, ew, what the... This one? Ah, uh, so nice. This one? Ooh, ooh, what the... Looks like he pays his taxes. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nice. Alright, it's doing that thing where it's going through all the songs again. With the different, slightly different versions. Listen to fourth mix now. One, two, three. Oh, that's loud. That's very loud. All the girls can go away. Ah, man. I really didn't want, uh... Can you draw BF like the one woman Super Goku's in the suit as hair slicked back? 
<laughs> shit like that is funny. Man, honestly, Goku inspires me because, like, Goku just has, like, very briefly sometimes, just has these really slick, chill outfits he got that he would wear for, like, just a chapter or two, or if you're just watching the show an episode or two. Oh, more shit like that, man. That shit's cool. Oh, Toppa doesn't know about One Piece? That's alright. Man, I also got the Nendos that arrived at like the Newgrounds office recently. The, what a treat. That's been something really just fucking fun to have lately. Very happy to see that. I'm thinking about that because I know the Toppa shared that they got one. That was fun. For every single person that's posted the one they had. I was in Canada when those, like, kind of started getting the people. Damn, that was cool to see. I feel like the speaker's too big to boyfriend proportionately, so we'll try and scale this down a little bit. Also, bending its form will make it a little bit more fun. The Nendo's cool. I haven't actually unboxed one yet. I guess I gave Ivan one, he unboxed it, but I haven't messed with it myself. I just have, like, a bunch of them. And make it seven. This is radio station CJ Boogie with the brand new world premiere song for Captain Jack. Only you. Gucci Mamas. BF Nendo is like 50 bucks. So it's crazy that I'm seeing so many of them. That's a fucking expensive ass toy, man. 40 bucks. It's a little better. I do think it is 50. It is good, though. And I'm pretty happy that. I mean, Nendos are high quality. For anybody who hears that there's a $50 toy and thinks, fuck that, <laughs> I don't blame you. He works so early in the morning. There's the secret. It's not early in the morning for me. This is scarily late at night. This is more like my late evening. That's... Well, I'm quite the fan of this. Maybe this could come down a bit more in front of him now. Yeah. Well. Huh. Oh, that's pretty sick. 
paper like that. So the head could be bigger. Let's try it. Let's not be afraid. Let's try. It strikes again, now it just looks bigger, it looks better with the even bigger head. To where this one looks too small. And that one looks way too small. The fuck? Started that too small, man, what the hell? Get so angry at myself, I start slapping myself in the brain like autistic John Tron. <laughs> Anime sent to two dollars and said, have you heard of the best, best, wait. Have you heard of my best, best, best friends at Nanovasar's GF voice impression? It's pretty accurate to the original while also being creative. Uh, maybe I've heard it. Have they ever done a thing where they read like comics or anything? So I feel like I've heard one person who did dubs of some of like the comics I was doing. And that, that was a pretty fun version of that. There's something about just like the Isaac ass girlfriend that I feel like is just so deep to my heart. Because there are people who are like, well, who will play girlfriend? And it's like, I don't know. I think it'll just stay Isaac. Because the busted ass just Isaac girlfriend is just like, it's got really something like unique to it. Nova, sorry, you did a few. I mean, yeah, I think I heard something. Did you also dub the thing where they're like walking and she's like, what the fuck? I'm just trying to tell shut the fuck up. Like the show she's eating the hot dog. Yeah, I, I remember hearing that. Yeah, I do remember hearing that. That is a good voice. That one felt weird because when I wrote that and I was like, yeah, yeah, and then I heard it, I was like, that's so strange to hear that being said in real life. It was like a good reminder that things are different in voice than they are in writing. That's right, top of damn shake it. I was watching those Gear 5 things fucking so many times. People were busting on the sound effects for that and like the animation so much because it was like just so wacky. But like, man, that shit was like exciting to watch. And the sound effects were like so crazy. It felt so fun and fresh to see. Like you'd never think that like, like for as much as I love Toei and as cool as they are in Shonen Jump, you just kind of feel like they're like stuck in their ways and patterns a bit. Then you see just something out of this fucking world like that, and you're like, God damn. Like, that is just awesome. From Yep, I knew it. Heard it a million times. I wish more of these songs were in DDR A20. I kind of feel like the DDR A20 soundtrack, it's definitely not lacking. It's got like 50 billion fucking songs. I want more of the old songs. 
Waiting for Procreate Dreams. I wonder if that's just gonna be any good. I'm never gonna abandon Flash. Maybe I should try that when it comes out, just to really get a taste of what's out there. No more face cam. Yeah, not for today. My ass is looking fucked up. I haven't cut my hair in like goddamn an eternity. The shit is like almost down to my neck. I'm just sitting here with bags under my eyes and my hair all fucking grown out all crazy, just animating late at night. In the dark, so it's like when you wouldn't even see shit. I've been in a fucking goblin in the cave mood lately where it's fun to just have all the lights off and just only the bright ass screens blinding yourself. Is flash free? I mean, <laughs> depends who you ask. The classic answer I'll give every time. Self portrait of myself. Alright, then we gotta do one more pose and then I think we'll end the stream. But another, I mean, I just drew this for like an hour and a fucking half. One more pose will take a while. I'll try and go till 5 a.m. to leave myself a bit of time for armored core before the sun comes up. Okay, self portrait. the Canada logo, sorry. It's the fucking maple leaf. Let's see, I haven't done myself in a while, honestly.
It's like weird because it's like my hair. It's almost like there's two like layers to it. I'm not sure if I'm really doing this right. Let me try this again. This makes it look like it's all long, like girl's hair. But it's more like there's like this like layer that like. Looks like there's like a layer there, and then it's like it goes on like that. It looks kind of crazy. Maybe the other one looks better. Let's layer it different. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's kind of like that. It's kind of like fucking bizarre. It makes no sense. But it's cause like I don't know. It's just like my hair has always just grown like fucking all over. back of my hair always gets really fucking long so like I always get my hair cut where it's like normal ass cut kinda like that I always just have like slight beard but then, like, the way it grows is it just grows like this. I have this, like, insane fucking photo that I took from when I finished week 7 and for week 7 for, like, a long time. Like, I'd been making F and F, like, nonstop. Uh, working, like, around the clock. But then, like, week 7 really pushed that over the edge and took, like, longer than any of the other weeks until now. Uh, but, like... What is it? Fucking... Oh yeah, by the end of week 7, I had lost like a fuck ton of weight, and I hadn't shaved in months, which normally I at least do that if I don't cut my hair pretty often. Uh, and then like... Yeah, my hair was like insanely, insanely long, so I just have this photo where it's like... Fucking, it looks insane. There's two photos, I can't find the original one. There's one where I look like I just have this dead look on my face, like I've died inside. And then, uh, then yeah, then I have a photo of me just getting my haircut afterwards. It looks like we're totally normal. I look like 20 years younger after I got my haircut. It's like insane. So yeah, I look like a fucking bum right now. I'm just like this drawing to come to monument history. Me yeah, if I was real. And queer five boyfriend. Okay. <laughs> Santa Arcade. Okay, okay. My Santa Claus? Nah. Maybe I drew my beard too crazy. It's like. It might be. My beard feels like the way I drew it, but probably still is more apt to just be like. Lines. Cause my beard honestly just never doesn't grow in that thick. Chalk it up to genetics, but I don't mind it. Yeah, I definitely have a better like work-life balance than I did. Well, I still feel like the output is like pretty good. Okay, I like this is a drawing I like. This drawing officially looks just like a five minute sketch compared to this, which is like, I, I quite like that. I feel like such a sweet little dinosaur when I listen to this fucking song, it's crazy. Can boyfriend grow a beard? You guys always ask the hard-hitting questions. I feel like, even though he's 19, I think he he needs he needs a couple more years. He needs a little bit. He's too young. He's too young mentally to have a beard. <laughs> Okay, I'm thinking of a drawing right now, and it's crazy, because I can't think of what the drawing is. Hold up. Uh, I 
Hold up, hold up. I, like, I want to do a pose, but it's a pose. I can see it so clearly in my mind. Maybe if I try and look for it, it'll ruin it. Oh, it's Bardock. It's Bardock's fucking pose. That's it. Let's see if I can find it. What is all this shit? I searched Bardock art. I got all this nasty shit. This, oh, wow. I found it instantly. It's the first one. Yay. I love when finding references is easy. Wow, that's big. Oh wow, that drew that really tiny. Oh, Animate Sen tipped three bucks and said, What you doing if a guy named Jordo Price VA breaks into the new grand's office and tries to rob you? Blasting his ass to 7th heaven. Fucking filling him with so many holes. He just looks like fucking bloody Swiss cheese. Taking the used fucking old ass motherboards from 2004 computers that don't work anymore and using them to fucking chop them up into a million pieces. Pose. I normally don't do sketch out with shapes, but we're gonna try it. try doing a hand stacked on top of another hand, but this is proven to be a challenge. In fact, yeah, that sucks dick. Maybe a hand on top of this one? That looks kind of chill. Whoa. Me fucking drawing, like, stuttered their computer for a second when that guy said it's okay. It sounded weird. That does look chill. That kind of looks crazy chill. I'm gonna undo all of it. Wait, no, I'm not. That's right, I was gonna do a trick, but I remember I was doing the trick backwards. All right, look at this. Copy that. Undo it all so I have the original pose back. And paste this, now I have both poses. Nice, cool. When is week seven? I don't know. Bro, it was fucking two years ago.
Sorry, I'm like fucking not reading the chat while I'm getting all into it. I need week eight. I killed week eight. Says Brian Org 16. No more. Who's this cool person I'm drawing? Oh, I think you'll finger it out. for now. I think I'm officially at the point where I'm zoning. I'm damn zoning, guys. We're gonna switch to... Erm... Um, what are we gonna switch to? Well, I already know. My brain just shut down. Fuck. How long does it take me to make a full sprite? I mean, we're essentially kind of watching that process now a little bit. Just making a sprite normally it not like really super hard or anything. It's more like just this process of like, uh, it's like designing it. Like, thinking about how all the pieces fit together, and thinking about, like, where the pieces will be and, like, how they'll move. Like, that is the real challenge. I think a good bit more about all this stuff these days. for this shit's tripping me out, just the metallic sonic head spinning. Oh, we'll toss this up now that we got video footage. Whoops. Let's... How do you fucking shrink this shit? Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. How do we want to fucking do this? crazy with the hands, get fingers getting pretty stubby. Not a lot of room to draw with the hands there. Nah, 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 nah. 
Hmm, this is tough. I know what I want, but not how it should look. The person I picked from the modding community, <laughs> I outdid myself, man. I knew they'd be a good pick, but shit, I didn't know they'd be as good of a pick as they are. It's, listen, not everything you'll ever do in your life will work out, but sometimes you just do the right shit and it works out even better than you thought, and that shit fucks. The people I've picked have made life so good, life so easy, work so easy, music so good, I could fucking cry. Music that when I hear it, you just fucking put your hand over your mouth and all you can just fucking say is yo. You just, you just can't even fucking sit down when you're listening to this shit. Isaac, Isaac's not going anywhere. It's not right now. I think Isaac's down for the long haul. I mean, he's done a lot of music. It's crazy. Um, and me and him, like, 50-50, like, watch over the teams that are making music now. I mean, I feel like sometimes people don't exactly... I feel like it's good to help people keep in mind like the game and the story, who the characters are, what it should all sound like, how it should feel. I think maybe that's the biggest thing is how it should feel. Because all these musicians know how to make music that feels amazing and great and sounds catchy. But like, getting the specific feeling that's specific to the character, you know, I'm not expecting everybody to like know the characters inside and out. Um, so that's where I come in. And also to make sure that it like fits gameplay, because musicians are also thinking about like music first and foremost, not gameplay. How many songs have been done for the game so far? I'll save that number for whenever this shit's done. Over a thousand, that would be fucking crazy.
thrown straight zone in at this point. I know people have been wanting to do stream for a bit. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm sleepy, but there's work to do, so we'll stream it. I think when I watch people's mods and stuff, I really look, pay attention to like the design of it, like the, how well it's like sculpted out, like how ambitious the poses are, uh, and like how well they did like the anatomy, and like, man, when I see somebody who's just like super nailed, like the anatomy and the line art and everything, and the pose is like adventurous, and it's not just somebody like standing there. But it's also like in style, like that shit's fucking. That's dope, up. That's dope the fuck up. Why would I regret graduation? What is bro talking about? Ah, uh, this is a tough one. See, I'm always fucking myself with this stuff.
You lose all your high school buddies, you have to pay taxes, you gotta go to college or start working shitty places. Starting working shitty places definitely is mega bummer. So the guy who said I don't want to turn 18 and still like FNF, it would feel weird. Man, it's strange. I feel like for a long time, because I liked Naruto when I was young, I didn't like it when I was older. I had conflicting feelings on it for so long. But I feel like I've come to terms with the fact that Naruto's kind of just fucking awesome, actually. And that it's like huge part of like my inspiration. And I guess like it's tough to like kind of come to grips and like... I feel like if you just like something when you're younger, like your first inclination is to be like, no, nah, I don't like it anymore. And I think part of what I was feeling is just that I think Shippuden is like crazy mid. But who knows, maybe I just need to read that and give it another chance. But honestly, like, I feel like it's just a normal pattern for people to go through is if you like something when you're really young, you just can't help but like, wanna like grow away from it for a bit. And you can kind of like revisit it later and come to terms with it if you like it or not. I'm so fucking glad I watched Dragon Ball Z as an adult, so I never had that with Dragon Ball Z. I just fucking love Dragon Ball Z, man. Yeah, I feel like I still like most of the stuff I like. Some of it I've like... I, dude, for a while, it happened really bad with Spyro. I was like, yo, Spyro the Dragon, I was like... Nope, it's dumb. I played it as a kid, it's a baby's game. I hate Spyro, it's for babies, it's stupid. And then I just like grew up and I'm like, wait. I mean, Sp Spyro's actually awesome. I got back when four kids aired it. What the? Dude, I want I'm trying to fucking do his damn leg crossing over his other leg. Maybe I just need to box it out or whatever to fucking get it. I'm like spending too much time trying to like draw it right. So I used to never go for poses that were tough. That's how I would make the game real fast. I'd just go for poses that I knew I could do all easy. But now I just only ever draw shit that's way too hard and ruins my life. Maybe his foot would be leaned back if his leg is all up. Man, it's hard. Uh, see, Newgrounds I liked forever. I think, I think there may have been like portions of time where I wasn't always like super into Newgrounds. Like I just liked it from afar. Uh, but I think that like, especially when I grew older and was starting to like, you know, think about careers. I think that's when like, I wanted to take art more seriously. So then I was like, Newgrounds became like, tw like, it went from being like a thing that I check like weekly and keep up with weekly to being back to like a daily like obsession. You're growing up is realizing the games, the shows and you that you played as a kid were actually really good. I think like as an adult you get better at like discerning taste and telling whether you like something for like being a kid or whether it's actually good. Okay, so I think I can earn myself more space for his feet by like scrunching up where his shirt is. And on fairness, compared to his like original anatomy, the shirt comes down pretty far. So I can I can tuck up the arm and the shirt like a pretty good amount before that feels like wrong. Cause his shirt is not very long in the game. Do I know Carlson? It's fucking the brother on Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Make me a sandwich guy.
Normally when people cross their legs, their knees, like, you have somebody who's standing, and like, their one leg comes mostly down, and their knee goes down, and then their foot is like that. Or like, I guess it would be more like if it's really crossed. So it comes down like that. That's like a crossed leg. You have like a lot of leg to like work with though. A lot of like body to work with. Roblox guy. Life is Roblox. See, this is my new shirt design. Chill. Just fucking chilled out. And see look you can see the difference where it's like this is real ish anatomy um, and then this you know we're obviously like condensing it like a fuck ton we're like we're not just squishing him down we're like blowing up all of his limbs too look at this dumb bitch <laughs> life is no longer roblox So he doesn't even look like he's leaning his foot over anymore because you can't see the foot that he's leaning on. It's like it's fucked. That kind of works? Not really. This fucking sucks, man. as Boblox. Many hashtags on the chat. Shit, I'm about to be late for my lesson. Mika Mikachu, you better hurry. I will draw your avatar for 15 Bobux.
Like, does this even read as, like, tilting his leg down from, like, this shit? It's like, okay, we need, we need his pants to come down. The pants will be what sell it, maybe. Chat GPT for fee picks. Lesson learned for me. All right. I will be careful. It is kind of crazy the way the AI is advancing. I'm starting to see like a lot of shit being AI and like I kind of can't tell like what is and isn't like AI anymore, which people did say was going to happen. So that's sort of nuts and freaky. <laughs> that don't make me feel so good, guys. Is this Pikachu hentai really made by a human being? Or a fucking sick, demented robot. Bobot? Life is Bobot. <laughs> I was drinking Sprite at 3M feels so heavenly. Scooter robots are taking over the Navy. <laughs> the Navy. Gay sex Squidward bots. You know, part of this pose is cool because, like, Bardock is, like, doing a slight lean, has his leg straight, his other leg like this. There's just something about the pose that goes hard because it's, like, just like this lean like forward Pico's kind of got it but he's like leaning way more I guess it's fine that it feels different it's more original that way but do you love me Phantom Arcade I don't even fucking know you bro if you fucking exploded in your room tomorrow and your parents walked into your room and it was painted all red I wouldn't give a shit <laughs> Hey, guess what, everybody? See this guy, George Chin? Well, we're gonna watch a little video about what's gonna happen to his fucking house. Hold up, I need this to be a surprise. I can't have this fucking thing spoil it. <laughs> yeah, this is it. Wait. Okay, wait, not, not that one. Maybe, maybe you're getting an idea of what's going to happen to George Chen 5's house tomorrow. An urban investigation. <laughs> no, not that. Damn, where's the fucking one I was watching? NBC. Listen, George is going to leave... Somebody at George's house is going to leave the stove on tonight. It's going to be a mystical, whimsical accident. No. Fucking by God. Investigators, you're hearing about investigators, you know it's not good. If you're hearing about investigators, you know that <laughs> if Penny and Stalking Explosion, that is very accurate. Man, what the fuck? Where's the video? There's this one, like, there's this, this thing that happened. There's one particular video of it. Yes, this video. This video is so bizarre to me. Hold this so it like it goes out like straight. Is it control? Oh, it is control. Okay. I think this is like not the right size. It's like more accurate. I'm lagging. Uh oh. 
answers is on after an explosion out this video for answers is on after an explosion dude they don't even they don't even hold it up while she's talking they show the clip because they're like we know you can't fucking wait for this we know that you can't fucking wait to see what this is louder oh yeah about the abandoned mine underneath the home that blew that's right george chen you better take a look at that abandoned mine underneath the house bro it's the terrifying moment a house ex the search for answers is on after an ex father about underneath here's <laughs> is there like a youtube button i can hit to just go back to that wreckage. home that blew up here's stephen fabian no there's no button happened in peach about very ago the search for answers is on after an explosion <laughs> outside pittsburgh over the weekend that killed five Gitch hitting this house three on the entire neighborhood you can see the flying wreckage hitting this house down the block and the screams of the terrified people inside. They're saying, George, what the fuck? Is that, that was George Chen Five's house? could be heard across <laughs> town at a ball field two miles away. What the fuck? What the hell was is that? that? Is that George Five and Chen's house? this is the chilling aftermath. A landscape George of burned out cars all his and homes reduced flat to charred matchwood. Front yard. Three houses... <laughs> not my house ah you got me you got me this is not your house i don't know if you're saying not my house like you can stop it like you get to decide whether the abandoned mind is under your house or not or whether you're saying not my house like that's not your house in the video but either way that's that's just a good response hey that looks like my house they play the cl look at this what the Bro, not my house. Don't care. True. Look at, dude. Look at. They show the footage like eight times. Cause they know it's fucking crazy. Fucking watching that shit in Oppenheimer, it doesn't even fucking compare. The cause of the blast is a mystery. Look at the cars there. What the fuck? It's like a miniature set of like Fallout 3. Stored in the house that exploded. <laughs> that's that's going to be just fucking whatever house cams in fucking 5 minutes before he posts the update whenever that comes out. He's going to get ready to post it. He's going to be just on fucking new grounds. He's going to be hitting upload. His internet's going to get to 97% and then right as he's right as he hits post Bam. <laughs> the fucking shadow wizards. They don't fucking want it to come out. Yeah, that's what the people think happens when fucking Undertale or whatever it is came out on Newgrounds. Homestuck came out for a day on Newgrounds. Fucking that was the Newgrounds servers. This footage is insane. Oh my goodness. Newgrounds building after fucking Homestuck comes out. Tom Fulp just covered in dust on the ground. <coughs> Jeff dusting them off and picking them up. Alright. Enough of this shit. Get that back to a nice juicy volume. All right, it is five. We're gonna go for a little, a little, a little longer. Adjusting all my volumes again. Cause I just want to get this pose right. Can you fucking imagine living in that neighborhood and they're just like, yeah, remember that house like blew up? Looked like a feature film, and it kind of scared the piss out of all of us. Where the hell is my cursor? Oh, there it is. Okay. Yes, that is Sonic. This pose, man. This pose is gonna be the damn death of me. Cause now I can't put the other foot underneath of it. I hope Cray is able to get this. No, I see a comment from Clay. I wouldn't even flinch. 
At the moment your house goes up in smoke. You wouldn't flinch because you'd be fucking atomized, bro. You wouldn't flinch because there would be no fucking part of your body, blood or otherwise, left to fucking flinch. You would fucking be ozone layer, dog. Cray built different. Goku is powering up and caused an explosion that killed my family. He'd probably be in the middle of fighting an enemy. And so tech uh, that like if the enemy was let loose, it would destroy the world. So technically, number one, he would have had to do it. Cause probably like millions of people, people would die if he doesn't. And two, uh, he, I mean, probably I would be under the collateral of people killed by the enemy that he would wish back. Unless he's like, Bring back everybody killed by this enemy, but technically since his power blast killed me, I don't count. That would suck. That would suck, like, a lot. You should probably say, bring back everybody killed in the conflict with this enemy. But yeah, Goku is just... I mean, he's not exactly like a Princeton, like, graduate. I'm not sure that he would word his stuff that... I, I think he just says in all the other stuff, bring back people killed by Frieza. So like, or did he say people killed on Namek? That fan, I'm actually just fucking scratching my chin like a lumber and damn fool thinking about it. Alright, it's back to drawing, damn it. That is some fucking food for thought. I don't want to think about it. Yeah, see, Pico looks so chill when his legs are all fucking long and shit like this, but... That's not anatomically correct. I could lean his body out more to give it more space for feet underneath, but the gun is still, like, right there. <sighs> I could also just give Pico, like, a longer gun, but he's not really that tall anyway. So I feel like he won't even- if I give him a taller gun, he won't even look like he's leaning on it. Pengus? Correct. Fucking thing. Making me yawn and shit. Okay. Let's. What if his foot. Ah, see, they make the silhouette all too crazy. It just feels. Well, too crazy. So if his foot went over here. And that just kind of feels ridiculous. Not really in a good way. It feels, yeah, it feels like too far out. His legs is like implying that his legs are pretty long. Cause yeah, his other foot could be like back there. It's like just too much foot though. Where is it?
Oh wow, does it actually just work? Bro, it was that simple the whole time? Fuck art, man. Still looks a little busted though. kind of convoluted. How do you so... How... Oh my god, this guy's comment. How do you so much patient drawing over, drawing a foot over and over again? This is my brain is active. It's like I'm enjoying the challenge. Well, it's like I want it to look right. It's like it's, it's not gonna feel cool if it looks like shit. Not every drawing can be perfect, but you definitely want your main poses of stuff to be chill. We're just chilling. It's just, uh, you know, 5.13 a.m. Just, just chillin' hours, you know? These are the most chill hours. Fuck, I didn't put my damn muscle milk in the fridge. Fuck. That was gonna be warm. Then my Chobani yogurt. Played Bomber Cyberfunk and I've seen somebody modding Travis touchdown into it and it looks so fucking awesome. Though honestly, more than Bomber Rush, that just makes me want to play fucking. I just want to fucking play No More Heroes. I still need to play Travis Strikes again and uh, No More Heroes 3. That's how behind all my shit I am, man. I never played No More Heroes 3. I played one and two like back to back and they were fucking awesome. They were like a blast. Two stories kind of not great, but gameplay is pretty cool. The story from one, perfect. Literally just so perfect. Two just has good moments. Like Travis's character is written a little weird and some of the characters just suck. But the overall like events in No More Heroes 2 were like kinda awesome. That is a both those games are a hard recommend. Oh man, does this look good? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, dog. Dave, is FNF the only game you're working on currently? Uh, no, no, because I help out with Nightmare Cops pretty often. So I was doing sound effects for Nightmare Cops just a few days ago. And there's more art I need to do for Nightmare Cops. 
that I kind of thought I would get these poses done really fast. I thought I could do that tonight, but uh, that seems to not be the case. How's Nightmare Cops going? Man, so awesome. That shit is so fucking sick, man. Oh, the chunkier shoe did look a little cooler, huh? Nightmare Cops, I've said it once and I'll say it again. It's It literally just sounds like, oh, well, of course David fucking say Nightmare Cops rocks and it's great and suck it off because he's from Newgrounds. And you know what? If that's what you think, it's fair. You're going to have to try it for yourselves. But in my personal opinion, it is one of the... And really, like, what is a movement game? It's just a game that has, like... I mean, essentially just, like, outstanding game feel. And I guess, you know, primarily movement. Um... But like, I feel like good movement should just inherently be in like any game that has movement. Um, so like, yeah, like, so I feel like calling Nightmare Cops a movement game is kind of would be weird. Um, I guess that's not really entirely accurate, but like, fuck, the way it feels to move in Nightmare Cops feels like amazing. And it's overall game feel is like just astoundingly fantastic tough to even put into words how good it feels anytime tom is like hey you want to let me test something we all jump up immediately because it's like fuck an excuse to play just a little bit more more nightmare cops i'll do anything give me another hit i'm a junkie i'll take any excuse i can and to fucking sit down and play some nightmare cops ever even if Corey just wants to do some more versus mode rounds or whatever the fuck it is i'm always there i'll never miss even a moment of it and the day the game comes out and I can play it at home and not like just at the Newgrounds office only, that will be fantastic. The day that I can play it with friends anywhere, that will be just the greatest. Yeah, I saw the new Scott Pilgrim show. It, like, well, I haven't seen the show, but I saw, like, the trailer. It looks fucking cool. When does that show come out? Because that looks, like, crazy, crazy good. November? Holy shit. Is that for real? Yo, I saw that that was by Uasa's studio, and I got really excited. And then I hung out with Aaron Long recently. That's right, I'm name dropping. I'm at the point where I'm name dropping people, but Aaron Long, creator of Subbo and Tangy Mustard, the man, the myth, the legend. I got to hang out with him while I was in Canada, and uh, he fucking said Yuasa isn't at his own studio anymore. You're gonna hold your pistol and cops coming out? I think that will kill you. Or just make you really fucking yellow. This looks pretty good, actually. Now that I'm, like, looking at it and it's more fleshed out. This kind of looks good. It's crazy that I'm probably just about to redraw all of it into a different pose, though. Alright. From the top.
We're gonna go more for a little bit more for the Bardock pose this time. Nightmare Cops had a demo only at fucking like what the hell was it like Comic Con? Like dude, that was in like 2018, 2017? Time fucking flies, man. Ridiculous. Yeah, I was just about to say, any like stuff that doesn't get used in the game, uh, aside from people just digging it up out of FLAs, I feel like there are definitely going to be like a lot of like, now that I'm like, doing my work a bit more proper and not doing everything in the same FLA. There's a lot of FLAs that have like art that you won't just be able to dig up and that will probably be like stuff that goes in the art book. And just like somebody messaged me on Newgrounds recently if I was still gonna like share the processes um, for like stuff. I think they were asking if I could do the ones for Darnell and Nene, but I was like, I can't do that yet, because technically those were just accidentally leaked. But I will do it once it's out. <laughs> as well as all the art and processes for all the other things that are in it. I mean, it's crazy. I feel like I shared, like, a never-ending amount of images in just, like, the few months that, like, Funkin' was just, like, active online originally. So now it's like, I don't even know if I'm gonna remember to share every single piece of stuff I have now that I have two years' worth of fucking stuff. There's probably gonna be a lot that I'm constantly finding. I'm gonna probably go like that throughout the course of the entire game's development.
I'm so zoned, bro. I'm so zoned. I got the sleepies in my eyes, bro. I'm so zoned. Faded. The hell are people talking about? I'm out of the, I'm out of the conversation. I'm out of the loop. This fucking YouTube thumbnail is about to be real life. If I keep fucking drawing. This is 2,000%, oh my goodness. and get back to work that video damn it the video where it's Benson screaming to get back to work and then Rick and, like fucking Rigby and Mordecai punch him so hard it shows the fucking like loud brain shattering like glass of the real gumball machine being destroyed Cucky Dev says he deserved it hello Cucky Dev Lyndon's in the chat. Lyndon at fucking 5 a.m. is a real. Oh my god, I'm tired. There's a part of this that wants to figure out that pose from earlier where it's like the fist on the hip. Because Pico's not wide enough to where he can have his arm hang down like that. Or is he? I don't think that could work. Like, I don't think that could work. Yeah, because that makes, that, like, that makes Pico, like, really wide. And he's just not that wide. Also, yeah, oh, I see Bardock's also leaning like out and then down, which Pico's not. Pico's kind of leaning like primarily just this way. Friday night pronouns. Yoshi C says this Tat Phantom Arcade doing some Phantom Arcading. Five in the morning trying to fit a fist on the hip. This fucking arm would need to go so far out to make that work. But somehow it just keeps being so tempting. 
I want this to be ghoulishly hunched though. that gun up it's gonna get dirty yeah don't worry wow Cerberus. I'm just sure the word Cerberus. Three M brain rot. More like fucking five M brain rot. God damn. Oh, coffee. I have coffee. It's right next to me. What the fuck? I didn't think about this. Here, check this out. I'm drink this coffee. Ugh. I'm gonna put my throat on the mic. You guys can hear the inner throat swallow the coffee. Did that work? Having my throat on the mic. Kinda. Let's try it again. More coffee. Heard of that time? There we go. It's all coming up, Dave. 
See, this pose, I feel like it's less adventurous, but like, I don't know, man. I think, I think it just beats this one. It's just like, it looks so much cooler. The head's getting too fucking small again, though. Sigh, 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 sigh. Yeah, this, this is less, less adventurous, but more just a better pose. Yeah, less sigh indeed. This isn't an angle you normally see the gun from, like, ever, so that's, it looks like it's fun to see the gun 3D from that angle. The shoes are kind of basic, but... Eh, it's got, it's got a cooler feeling to it. I really like the fucking hunchback leaning over, like, I think that's... That's good. I mean, Boyfriend's doing it too in his, like, I wanted to make sure he had that, like, hunched lean. Does that larger head look good, or does the medium... Man, I'm gaslighting myself. Does this medium head look better? Oh god, I've been staring at this shit for too long. Hitting my ass with the sample from fucking Aliens 2 or whatever. Fucking Aliens 3. Can I maybe download Flash on mobile? Yeah, mobile pro, studio, the Wacom fucking Windows 10 machine. Unfortunately, there's no fucking Flash on anything else, which sucks. At Phantom Arcade, can you get pregnant? Unlikely, but I saw a Naruto fan AMV when I was younger where Naruto got pregnant by Sasuke, so maybe. In the old one, it looked like he was forcing the cool. In the new one, it looks like he's chilling, which is objectively cooler. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah, because in this one, he looks like he's chill, but in this one, he's like goon chill. I'm struggling P-ranking P's care. What is that? Second one has Gooner energy, definitely. Pizza Tower level. Man, fuck, I gotta play that. I still haven't played that. And I said I would get off of this shit at five to play Armored Core, but what am I doing? I'm still here drawing. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, I haven't played, isn't that a grievous sin? I haven't played Pizza Tower yet. Isn't that just like a kill myself worthy sin? <laughs> World in four. I guess you could say that. Yeah, I got a lot of fucking games to play in the future. It's not even funny. It is kind of scary that I will probably die well before playing the majority of what I want to play, but that's okay. I'm gonna take a small little flight to LA soon. And before I do that, because I really fucking don't feel like flying, I found for mega cheap, I found a sealed copy of Metopia for 3DS. So I could bring my Switch and play Bomber Cyberfunk, but. I mean, dude, Metopia kind of looks awesome. Metopia seems like a good plane game. You can't really play Bomb Rush on the plane. You can't hear the fucking music. It is very easy to hack your 3DS. See, Tomodachi Life, I already watched Corey play a ton of that. I've
Okay, let's... See, that doesn't really look right. And then his elbow would need to go higher up, but then that doesn't really look right. Well... Max, and you can't see the lean. You gotta have the lean. He's just like Popeye the Sailor Man putting his fucking arm up like that. So the only possible thing is to have it hang down. Then hanging it in front of the fucking hand looks fucking weird though. save my work. What the hell am I doing? I haven't saved in three hours. What the fuck? Eric? Eric said you 100% of the Street Pass Plaza puzzles. Was he fucking with me? No, that's true. That's real. That's completely real. I got the last one uh, during too many games. There were some street pass only pieces I needed. Letting that thing hang. Absolutely. Like, that is the goal. The goal is to make it feel crazy chill. Is FNF gonna have some more official merchandise? Yeah, definitely. I think I just really want to focus on. Oh. Miyaha666 shared a message in Korean. I still bring my 3DS everywhere? Absolutely. This is one of my highest years of step counter on 3DS yet. Not the highest, but one of the highest. I think like my maximum steps on a 3DS in a year is like 600,000. The activity log tells you all this. I wish activity log was on Switch. Highest steps in a year on 3DS is like 600, over 600,000. My steps, literally the day I was walking back in PA from the airport, just hit over 400,000 steps with the 3DS for the year. Aiming for 500,000. I should take another trip to Toronto, then I'll definitely get over 500,000. Homos are performing live. Yeah, I'm just about to search what this means. Google Translate. Korean. That's definitely Korean. Homos are performing live. <laughs> that is what it says. Oh my god. Alright, here I have a message for... Um, our, our Korean fan who joined in, Miha-san. Uh, Gin, Gyeong, Jungmo, Gyozjin, Ilia. Alright, wait. Google, you can't trust Google Translate. What else can you do? See, I said that right. I said that pretty much exactly like that. There we go. That's that's me saying that by the way. That's not Google Translate. That's actually just me. Here Tapa, tell me how well that this works. This how uh Tennis or Sabruno Asosa no Tameda. Tapa, could you tell could you tell what that said? I mean, could you tell what I said? Because that's me saying that. Could you could you tell what that said? Just hitting me with the shirt up. I'm pregnant. I don't give a shit. Be pregnant. See if I care. <laughs> Those hours of Duolingo are paying off. 
Hard agree. Emphasis on the hard. And not so much the agree. penis oh it's nasty meaning correct I actually didn't I'm a retarded didn't realize that I had Google Translate open on the screen while I was streaming giving completely giving away my lie so yeah I'm an idiot I guess have this arm go all the way up to the ear. Draws painfully detailed shoe only to draw hand directly over it. Bro, that is a lol moment. This hand doesn't exactly look good there. Damn, I just totally fucking myself with this pose. Unless... like his arm like behind himself but then he kind of feels like his torso is up and that feels weird damn it I feel trapped what am I gonna do how do I get out of this mess the arm on top of the arm of course it's the ultimate escape. It's the MacGuffin I set up for myself at the beginning of the arc, and now I can use it. Let's try it. This arm would have to be lowered, though, so we're getting into dangerous territory. 